Hey, how's it going? My name's Anthony Gray. Welcome to another episode of Grayscale. Now, last uh, time um, we were here, I did an acrylic pour. And that's what this is right here. Okay. Um, I discussed um, that I was going to do something over the pour. Okay. Depending on what I felt like the um, position of the colors that were presented in the pour here. Okay. And um, stuff like that. So I decided on a more of a traditional type of rose. Um, I might put some orbs in there or whatnot, but um, something a little different than what I usually um, do for a um, different style of rose. So I'm gonna just put it in there. As you can see, I sketched it out. Okay, I got a picture of a rose up above here. Okay, so what I did with this pour is I sprayed varnish on it and whatnot and um, let it fully dry. It's um, coated all over, even the sides, because the sides got a design on it too. It's got the pour on it, all right? All right, and we're gonna get right on to it. Um, I'm, I got a uh, phthalo green, titanium white, cad yellow, and uh, phthalo blue. So I got two little phthalo uh, colors here. I got a small half inch brush. Okay, I probably won't go much bigger than this half inch brush, we'll see. Okay, now right now I'm just getting a little, little bit of the phthalo green. Nothing but all phthalo green right now. Okay, and I'm gonna start uh, blocking in, obviously start blocking in this uh, stem. I'll have it go straight down. And you know, when you block in stuff, it tends to grow a little bit. Uh, simply because you're trying to cover up the uh, the white line. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of, of uh, the cat yellow all out, put a little bit on the outside here. Just like that, just a hint of an outline, just a little bit of one. Okay, I'm gonna go right over the leaves, of course. Um, I'm gonna add a little phthalo blue to the green now. Just give me a little color or whatnot over the over the leaves here okay and I'll just shape the leaves more traditional type of leaf shape here and like I say I'm just blocking it in right now the, the leaves tend to grow a little bit on you <laughs> okay because you're still trying to get rid of that the white outline there and you'll fill it in and stuff like that as, as you know you move along but right now I'm just blocking, just blocking the leaves in. That's it. And as you can see, the acrylic goes nicely and smoothly over the uh, the, the uh, canvas, even with the with the uh, varnish over it. Okay. And these leaves are kind of connecting. So we got a little bluish green thing going on here. Getting a little more of the uh, blue and the green. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna do a couple over here too. Just like that. Just fill it, you, all you is blocking in, just filling it right in. Just like that. I'll do a couple over here on this side. Now, not all the leaves have to be uh, in focus either. You know, you can take a small blender and blend some of those leaves out so it looks like it's going back into the uh, to the paint a little bit. Up to you. Here's a couple extra ones back here. Just blocking it right in. All the shading and, and highlights come a little bit later. Right now, you're just blocking in things. Okay, just like that. No kind of worries. We'll take a little bit of white, a little bit of yeah, yellow. You might not see it too well because of that glare of the um, of the lights. Where I'm painting at is uh, nothing but windows all over the place. So I'm just, like I say, just patching in a little bit of light here and there. But I'm mainly keeping it on one side. At least I'm gonna try to. Okay. Yeah, just so maybe a little, little scrape over there. 
just like that I'm just blocking things in a little bit I can come over here on this one side and I can just scrumble it in lighten in some, some one part there just like that all right and just leave it be let it tack up and do what it does okay I'm just cleaning off the brush here reach up and get my towel so that's just that part just blocking it in now kind of a different approach with these guys okay I'm going to make I'll make a nice uh, kind of a gray color get a small amount of black mix it in there nice light gray we'll start blocking in these leaves or the petals themselves I'll start with the one on the outside and all I'm doing right now is just a simple blocking in I'm not even adding any medium okay no medium at all I'm just blocking in I'll block it in a leaf at a time if I have to just like that block it right in now here's the thing with, with leaves okay because leaves have that tendency to do what they're supposed to do curl okay so I'm going to take the smallest amount of black now that I got that gray on there it's still wet but I will fade in some black just like that put that put the black in do it on every, every one if you have to do it on every one it's okay I'm going to get a little bit more black just all black and go as close as you can and just fade it just like that fade it in the more you rub the more of a fade you'll get make it nice and smooth nice and gentle nice and gentle fade like, like so okay we're going to be doing that a lot okay just to, just to let you know I'm mixing up some more of the light gray getting some more titanium white going okay a slight dot of black into that titanium white and just a light gray no more no less just nice light gray let's go with the this bowl right in here okay I'll just shape it in right there just like that because the bowl's rounded okay just right in here now you're not going to really lose your place because <laughs> you know you're just blocking it you're just blocking all this in and while the paint's wet once again I'm going to get that little dot of black that's all you need is a dot and you're going to gently right here on the bottom just like that now obviously you can get a little darker okay just layer it on until you get that, that darkness you're looking for just like that okay I can put a little, little dark right in here just like that leave it be I'm gonna wipe off some of the paint off the brush we're gonna continue this right on I'm making up some more gray okay it's the reason why I got such a small brush I'm putting it right in a little dot of black it's a little dot of it let's go on this outside um, pedal right here this guy right here go right across go right across go right across now he's catching the light so he's gonna be a little bit on the brighter side right now remember I'm still blocking in that's all I'm doing is blocking in just like that just block it in now what I'm going to do instead of adding dark okay I'm going into the titanium white okay and maybe right around here in, in the center part right there just like that and just leave it be I'm just a little lightly over the edges there just brighten it up a little bit just in that spot right there okay I'm wiping off the brush I'm gonna get a little bit of white probably just all white this time no I won't I get some light gray I'll put it right back into the light gray because he's got the overturned leaf here but he will be a little bit lighter I'll, I'll paint it as such don't worry but he's a little brighter right here just right there okay as long as I got that undercoating now I can put titanium white over it I'm not cleaning the brush I'm gonna just get some titanium white and put it right over that just like that he's still mixing it in with the gray but now you just got a brighter version of gray just like so same brush okay same brush all right a little touch of, of black we got some smaller guys kind of hide in there 
So I'm getting a little darker gray. A little bit of darker gray right in here. These guys are hiding in the back. So th this row is going to be certain tones of gray. One there. I'm blocking it. I'm just blocking stuff in. Uh, one right about there. Like I said, they're in the, they're in the back back there. Okay, and now just like that. Okay. Now, as I just did that, I'm going to take some black. I'm going to deepen this part right here. Because as you start adding the colors, you can start seeing the tones and stuff. And I'll just shade that in a little deeper. Just like that. All right. You'll see, start to see the, the rows fill out a little more. Okay. I'm going to get some more black. Mixing it in with the gray. It never, it's never going to be totally black. It's going to be all different tones and, and colors of, of gray. Okay, and I'm going to go right here underneath the bowl. All up under here, just like this. Fill it right in. Okay. Just like that. Fill it right in there. It's a little, little darker there. All right. Right under that, under that bowl there. All right. I'm going to go darker yet because we got one that's kind of in shadow. That's this guy here on the outside. He's a little... A little bit more in shadow. He's a little underneath things here. Just like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill him in even a little, little deeper. So I'm just gonna use black and just rub that in a little bit. Just like that. It's easy to um just darken him up a little bit. Okay, he's 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 back in there a little. Okay. It's not satisfying enough. Make it even darker. Because he's back there. And all you're doing, you're not making it black. You're just making it a darker gray. That's all you're doing. There, just like that. Now, if I need to lighten it up, all I got to do is add white to this. And I'm just lightening it up a little bit. And you can definitely, you'll see the difference once you put it on. Okay. Now we got this fella out here. We give him a little, he's brighter, but he's still in shadow right here. I'll just block him in like that. Just like that. Block him in like so. Okay. I can tease a little bit of brightness there on the, uh, a little bit on the outer edge. We'll give him a curve like that. I'll brighten it out right in here. Just like that. Let's establish some more depth uh, in this fella. We're going to go in here on the outside. Same color. Do something a little different. All up in here. We're going to go a little dark. And it's going to come out into the light. Like I say, you're just blocking in color here. That's all. I'm just going to get a little touch. We're going to go from the bottom here. Right here from the bottom. We're going to kind of, it's all in shadow here. Put a little curve in it. And we'll smooth that out a little. Just like that. Okay. You just you just you know give it a little shade there okay a little titanium white only the small corner black okay and we're going to keep the black near the uh on the right hand side actually what i'm saying just like that little one stroke deal we we'll do the same thing here just like that bring them right in Okay, I'm going to darken that black up just a wee bit and put it right up in there like that. And a little bit right in there. And like I said, you, you can just fade some of that out. And so you're just building up tones and shades and all that fun stuff. Okay. Just, just like that. White and black. Okay, because we're going kind of in the inside of the petal. So I'm going right in here. Spread it out and narrow it right down like that all right we're gonna do a lot of that another one right here okay uh this one here is kind of going on the outside so we'll we'll deepen him we'll get him a little darker right in here he's a little, a little bit on the dark side right there he's inside the petals right there okay just like that it's okay I'll take some, uh, I'll take a little bit of white and 
is a folded petal right up in here. Just like that. And it comes around just like this. Okay. Okay. Let's go back into our mix some more gray here. I'm just tapping it in here. Because you got some coming right out here. You kind of got a petal here. You kind of got a petal here. A little darker. He's kind of surrounded. And you got one in here. And what I'm going to do here, now that I blocked all this in like that, I'm going to take a little bit of the white. Just a little bit. I'm going to get a nice narrow edge. And you'll just frame some of them. Frame that one. Frame this one with a little bit of white. That's right there. Fairly dark right in, in there. I'll put the black down first. Because you can work this anyway. Right now I just I'll put the black down. Just like that. Up in here. It's the shadow actually coming into the light. Okay. Oh, we might have a little bit of shade right in there for, for the for the petal when it wraps around like that. All right. No, paint's still wet. I didn't use any medium that I don't need to at this at this point. Uh, we'll get a little white because the white's going to mix in with that dark I got in there. I'll bring that right up in there and a little bit of back and forth action and we'll bring that out like that and I'll just smooth it out just like that. Bring it right on right on across like that and we'll smooth it out it's all right back and forth it's all smooth out it's not totally white it looks it because of the uh the tints and the shades of one color just like so okay i'm gonna get the smallest amount of black we're gonna return that black over here and you bring it right in just like that Bring some of that out there like that. Just like that. And we're going to continue a little bit of that right here. Right up here on the top. Uh, if I got to pat it, I'll pat it. I'm using just the one single brush. I could have used a smaller brush, but black end stage, we're just doing we'll a little bit with these that. leaves down here. So I'll get a little bit of yellow. I'll put the yellow in here. More yellow, actually. Then I'm going to get a little bit of that green, just the smallest amount of green. We're gonna lighten up the yellow. Okay, just a brighter, a brighter green. And just think of where your light source would be with this guy. And so I'll scramble some stuff up in here like that, maybe around here on the edge like this. And I'll give him a little something like around here, like that. Oh, maybe a little something right up here. But mainly keep it on one side like that. I'm going to wipe off that paint. And then I'll just, with a light touch, I'll start scrambling some stuff here. Just have it disappear into that color. Just like that. We'll smooth it out a little bit. But mainly we're going to scramble, scramble some of that shade away. Okay. Same thing here. Just kind of rub it on out there I can bring some of that dark back if I don't want it traveling that far and I don't but that's okay I'll just establish some of this bright right up in here okay now that I just established a little bit of that I'm going back into my phthalo blue a little bit of green in that phthalo blue I'll use the side of the brush and we'll go back and we'll Scrumble some of that dark in there. Just like that. Just start shading and blending it in. Go in the, in the directions of the leaf pattern. Just don't block it in, just to block it in. Okay. Go in the, go in the direction of that leaf pattern. Go from the dark into that light. I'll wipe off some of that and I'll start, you know, just like that. See how you just put it together and put it together? You can do the same thing. I'm gonna take some of this dark. I'm gonna. I wanna subdue some of these leaves in the back back here. So we make them a little darker back there. It's okay. Keep it moving. Just like that. It's how you start building your 
tones and colors and all that good stuff. Put some of that back there with this guy too. All right. Just subtle things. You follow me? Oh, I'll get a little bit of blue. And I'll go over here and give him the dark side of the uh, st little stem there. Okay. Just like that. And I can rub some of that in. It doesn't have to be all glaring like that. I'll just rub it right in. Just like that. Just want it a little darker there. A little spot or two. Maybe around in here. Okay. I'll give him a little something here too. Just a little short scramble or something. Just like that. I can rub some of that in there. Just like that. Really your decision and your choice of how much of it you want on there. Okay. And I'm just rinsing off the little tiny, tiny brush. All right. Let's get a script liner. I got a little script liner. Now I'm going into my my pasty uh, white mix that I got my glycerin in. And I'm gonna get a little bit of the green and I'll put it in there. It's just blending white. That's all. I'm just twirling the brush around a little bit. Cause you know, these things gotta have a little center line in there like that. A little, little bit of one there. You can start playing around with that. Just like that. A little bit of one in there. I'm twirling the brush as I'm doing it there. Okay, so just a hint of a little center line. I know you guys can should be able to see some of this. I'll put even a piece of one there. It depends on how detailed you you want to go. You know, you add play around with some of these little stripes and whatnot in there. I don't have to make them like I say really show too much. Just a couple of them, just like that. I don't even have to go all the way to the to the end. I'm getting some more of the, the mixing white. Just putting it into the green I already have. This greenish blue. I'm rolling my the tip around, okay, and very lightly, lightly, okay, just like that. It goes more to the front, just like that. It comes more and more to the front. I can straighten a couple of those out that didn't come out right. There we go. Just like that. Just a few. Just a few. Maybe I'll just have one. Come on on, on uh, that side. Like so. Alright. I'll keep going with a few more. Oh, right about here. Put in a couple like this. And as it comes towards the front, they get more in your there we go they kind of spread out back there I don't have to put a couple I don't have to put them all over the place all right but just some things like that I can put some little curly cues in there too like just here come on around here let it kind of curl around and come behind the leaf and we'll have it curl like that just some cutesy little things we'll have let's get some more paint I'm gonna roll around some paint here I uh, will have one come around like that, loop around, come down like that, and here go. Well, I put him in front like that, and we'll curl him around. Just some cutesy little things, just dangling around in there like that. All right, okay. So that's a little little script liner action we got going on with that. Okay, you can always subdue some of these if they're a little too bright. You can just glaze over that, or what have you really up to you. I'm going to take a little bit of this this bright greenish here and maybe I'll, I'll uh, put some of that bright right up in there. I'll just rub a little bit of that on there. I'll just keep rubbing it on there. It'll get to a point where it'll kind of fade itself in just on one side. Remember this stuff if it appears too bright it settles in and it gets a little duller. Don't fret about stuff like that. Okay. All right now, now that we've did a little bit of that for that guy, let's um, let's play around with some of these um, in here. Okay, so I'll start to um, get a flatter brush of some sort and we'll start slowly 
making little tones and stuff with, with this stuff. So I'm getting a little bit of white. I'll stroke the white around a little bit. Now it's time for me to get into a little bit of the glaze. I'm not going to use the white. I'm just using the clear stuff. Uh, fine tuning Mr. Rose here. Okay, so right here on the edge, we'll start to glaze some of that in and smooth out some of this paint here. Just a little back and forth action. It's just a glaze. Just like that. And we'll start to tone some of that in there. Getting a little more white. Get a little glaze. Thin up that white a little bit. The reason why I'm thinning up the white because I still want to have some of those tones and, and stuff working in there a wee bit. So I'm going to go on the, on the brighter parts of these guys. Up in here, I'll just bring it around. Softly, just softly blend this stuff in. Sharpen some of that. See, this is a little different than what you see me regularly do. Just like that. I'm going to get a little bit of the dark only on one part of the brush. Okay, and we'll accentuate some of that there. Back and forth. Back and forth like that. Wipe off my brush. And we'll fade that. I'm going to just go in one direction. I'll just start fading. Just like that. Okay. You guys aren't able to uh, totally see it because um, of the glare on this side of the board. But I'm just getting a nice smooth mix. Smooth as I can here. A little bit of medium. And smooth it out a little bit. That's all. I'm going to go down here. A little bit of black. And we're going to deepen that black a little bit right down here in this corner. Just like so. Okay. And transition that a little bit out here. Just like that. A little back and forth action. Just like that. Nice gentle blend. Just like that. Come on around. Like that. Really curve them in there. Okay. You got to have a pretty strong dark to accentuate the, the brightness. Okay, basically that's uh, what that is. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of white, still. Uh, that's a small hint of, of the black, a little more white. Okay, and I'll put a little shade curve right in here. I'm gonna go out, come in, and bring it right back around like that. And now, the thing is, it's just to destroy, fade out that that little edge here, soften it up just like that. Go in the direction that you put it in and get a nice and gentle shading right there and maybe a little bit right in here. But it's not the same intensity as you had the other colors. You just gently fade that in like so. Okay, I'm wiping off the brush. So you got this one. You got this one. We'll work with a little bit of this guy right here. I'm going back into my titanium white. And a wee bit of glaze. Back and forth with the glaze. And all we're going to do really is just smooth this out a little bit. Just like that. Smooth it right on out. Just like that. Give him a little curve, a little point there. Smooth him right out. Back and forth. Don't be afraid to go back and forth. Got to go back and forth. Got to brighten this guy up a little bit. Just like so. Just a little back and forth. Get the tiniest bit of black right around that edge. Right in here, right around that edge, right here. Get that edge. Make it a little thick if you got to, because you know you're going to go right back, back and forth with it. Just like so. And just rub it on in there. Just like that. You know, little um, mark of darkness there. Okay, another little, little tap of black. And we're going to go right back inside this petal. I'm basically just going to deepen in that dark. And remember, all you do in the back and forth, the, the more gentle the blend. Okay, I'm going to bring some of that up, up here. Like so. Alright, maybe a little... I'm going to turn the brush around this time. And go right underneath this fellow. But still keep it kind of smooth. Curve it. Just like that. Just like so. The uh, pedal above it, right here, 
the light catches it pretty good it right up all up in here we we'll get a little more white no medium just the just this just the white and put it right up under there now that you see it like that now we can look deepen that rim on the bottom there just like that and, and curve him around make a nice little circular curve right there kind of block him in really good then I'll just wipe away some of that I don't want such a harsh harsh edge okay just like that block them right in there I'll soften up some of that too bring that up in there just like that I'll take the smallest sliver of white right on the edge of the brush and we'll give them a little something right up in there I'll just tap it in there just soft little tap there just like that it's catching a little bit of that just like that you leave it be just like so okay okay get a little bit of white nothing else on the other side just a little bit of white nothing else and I'm gonna come out here back and forth back and forth just that little bit smooth it right out especially during that that bottom edge a little transition if I'm going further away from that edge like that okay I'll shut the light off for a second okay you should be able to see it a little bit all right and I just smoothed it out a wee bit there just like that just smooth it right on out now I can go in the reverse and get a little bit of black go down in here do the same thing back and forth get it deep in the on the on that bottom there and then back and forth get a nice gentle transition there okay I'll darken this right up in here like that and that travel a little bit and still go a little bit of back and forth nice even transition there for that fella clean off my little half inch wipe it off on the towel get some more titanium white just a little bit and we're going to get that nice little, little edge right here have it go across and it disappear right in there like that Okay, we get a little bit here. Get a little bit of a curve. Just like that. Okay. Just like so. And then I'm going to just take it and I'll blend some of that in right down here on the bottom. Like that. Smooth it all out. Smooth it right out. See, so you just keep building on it, building on it, building on it, building on it. You know all that good stuff I'm gonna smooth in that bottom edge just like that smooth it right out just like that okay now for that bl uh, white to stick out a little bit you're gonna darken in some of that right up in there Now that I did that, right? Remember, I really don't want a harsh line there. So we're gonna take Mr. Well, we don't need to do. We'll just take a round brush. We'll take a round brush, and we're gonna half and half. We'll fade that. Go in the general direction. I'm just taking off some paint, just like that. Go back and forth. Get a gentle blend of that. Okay. Nice soft blend of the black in between the black and the white. Okay, get a little bit of titanium away. I'm doing it on a round brush, and I'm coming around here just to brighten it up a little bit right there. Wiping off the paint, and I'll softly scramble that into the dark, just like that. Okay, get some more black here. Cause we need some some deep stuff in here like in between here a little bit deeper and yeah, maybe a little bit up in here nice little deep pocket and have it come down like that and we're gonna smooth this guy out too i'm gonna clean off my round brush not entirely super dry because you still want to get a nice little blend right on the edge here go back and forth keep going keep going keep going 
just like that smoothly blend all that have some of that that black travel around a little bit just like that okay see how it's starting to turn out there okay all right so as I'm keep playing with it get a little more titanium white and we're gonna come here on the edge and we're gonna wiggle that around a little bit just like that okay take off the rest of that white don't totally dry off the brush right here on the edge right here on the edge it's gonna pick up a little bit of white and we're gonna transition some of that right around in there like that okay just like so and we'll travel that around a little bit and wiggle them around like so just taking off some of the and we'll scramble some of that in there there I'll get that a little bit brighter I want a little bit brighter I ran okay. out of white so I got that touch of white I'm gonna strengthen up the edge right there right in here and vary your your pressure okay vary your pressure I want it a little bright here, here on the edge there like that I'm just wiping the paint off the brush and then we'll just slowly fade that in like that get a little bit of that dark just a little bit I'm just using the rim that that, that edge and we're gonna bring some of that dark we're gonna outline that a little bit and we're gonna kind of fade that out I'm taking the paint off the brush now remember it's still wet so now half in the paint half out and you just back and forth or at least in one direction we're gonna fade some, we're fading some of that dark into that into that light area there just like that add that shadow that's how you make this thing pop when you add that shadow in there okay one corner of black right down here come on around just like that get that dark in there down on the bottom and we're gonna fade that in there so it's not but the black and the gray meeting just like that remember you need something kind of dark to accentuate everything else okay now as I just did that right get a little bit of pure titanium white okay and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna bring that right on that edge like that okay I'm wiping off the paint and we're gonna fade that that bottom edge here or at least the top edge anyway not really the bottom and we'll fade some of that in there like that just brighten up some things take it off the paint back and forth just like that we get a nice little rim of a little rim of white right there we'll kind of accentuate that pop that edge up like that okay telemarketing calls are a big pain in the behind anyway um, we're gonna continue on get a little 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 bit of bright right here just a little bit we'll just like that we'll start putting in some uh, some nice bright highlights in here run around the edges there okay just titanium white now now we start brightening up and, and wiggling in things and and all of that just like that take some paint off the brush and you can softly blend in some stuff here and vary your your brush stroke pressure also that 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 helps a lot <laughs> okay and right up around in here I'll scramble in some just to smoothen out some of that just like that and you just keep building each petal separately okay I'll right around here in the edge here and we'll scramble in some of that light up in there just like that 
a bit at a time. Don't and uh, try not to rush the thing too. That helps. Don't rush it. Okay. And a little bit here, a little bit of that nice, nice shine right up in there, especially top toward the uh, toward the bottom edge there. Don't lose your curve on some of these. There we go. Lighten the pressure, which is also like the key to this. And you just keep building on it, building on it, building on it. Okay. Right around in here, a little, little bit of a little curve and strong curve. Have it fade out a little bit. You can put like a slight, you can kind of push an edge out there. Okay. So I'm really just tagging a little bit of the really bright highlights and such. Just like that. And you keep going. mainly on one side than the other more than the other that's what I'm trying to say I'll give it a little slight push here and we'll bring some of that back we're going to appear around that edge and we'll just like that we'll pat a few red right in here okay now let me scramble some of that out of there and I'll get some strong white put a dot right there a little bit of something there. It's not too, not too much. Just a little something right up in there like that. So you just keep, you know, plugging away at it. Okay. And we'll give him a little bit of something there. Give him a little, little something in there too. Just like, like that. Get some more white. I'll start build again some of these um some of the tips here i'll give it a slight push okay because you can start ruffling up some of these guys here and down here on the edge give them give them something you know some ruffles in there okay just like that you know he's not a totally smooth flower it's ruffle up some spots give them a little character in there number of pure titanium white uh the edge of your petal you know break some of that up make some a little taller accentuate the tip a little bit and wiggle some up in there bring some of that out there like that just look at it all right look at where some of the folds would be especially out here on the outer fringes they kind of Kind of get out there a little bit, bring him out a little bit, and bring him back in like that. Okay, go into the to the direction of, of where you of the flower a little bit. Like I say, he this is not really um, the style you're accustomed to seeing me do. These take um, you know all flowers, depending on how detailed you want it. You know they can take a little time. Okay. Like that, bring some of that in and smooth it out a little bit. All right, come out out here. We'll put this one kind of in front of the other petal. Just a couple of uh, ruffles, ruffled edges. And what I'm doing is basically taking the brush and, and just give it a little push. But you smooth out that inside a little bit. You know, bring them, bring them on in. Just like that, a couple. Of couple of little ruffles give it this guy a little bit of character there and just have him come out a little bit more like that and you keep on and you keep on and you keep on and that's just it one is that is how you learn okay let me get a little bit of black okay and I'm gonna just right here on this shaded edge and we'll bring some of that that just like that bring some out there like that and bring him in it's kind of got a mixture of uh curving them on in there just like that because you know there's a little something going on um, down there okay and you just keep looking at it and keep seeing what you you can do with it okay that's all build up some of the shadows here where the leaves are kind of 
coming out a little bit. Strengthen in some of that dark there. Because, you know, some of these guys got a shadow there. Just like that. Some of these guys are pretty, pretty deep. All right. We're getting toward the end of this. Slowly but surely. A lot of the striations that you used to see me do, they're not on this one. We're going to get a couple of nice little ruffles going in there like that. And we'll guide some of them on the outside too. Just like, you know, some, some rough little patches and we'll kind of fade them in there a little bit. Just like that, we'll get rid of some of that, smooth that out a little bit. I need a little shadow too, right under this guy. Just like that. All you need is a little bit, and then you just take it from the edge, you just fade it on out there like this. I'm just taking the paint right off. Just like that, you need a little, a little shadow. And I'll just crumble that in there, fade it right out. Okay, something like so. Okay, I can take a little bit of just the, just the edge, and I'm gonna brighten. And sometimes that's all it needs is just a little touch. Okay, you bring some of that in. Some of it just needs a little touch. All right. Mmm. Need a little bit here in the corner. And bring some of that in work like that. I'll smooth some of this out here. Okay, just like that. Alright. Like I say, this guy's a little little different than the others. Truly a little different. I'm getting a little bit of white. I'll accentuate a little bit of this edge, just a tiny little little curve of color and maybe a little bit of something there not too much just on the edge just that little little tip sometimes a little like I say that old commercial you remember the commercial a little dab do you much like that okay give it a little bright something right there just like that now, I don't really have to add um, too much to this okay not necessarily you know I mean, you can glaze little bits of color if you want into it here and there. Like I say, I'll take some glaze. I'll get a little more glaze. A little more glaze than blue. Slight glaze of, of this phthalo blue. But it is definitely a glaze. Trust me. Don't want to add too much. Okay. And I'll put a little, little bit of something in there. Like just around the shadow edges. Okay. And then I'll just slowly wipe wipe some of that out just a little bit a, a fine touch of, of some of this stuff maybe a little bluer down here in the shadow part okay and all I'm doing is taking a little bit of, of the phthalo blue and a whole lot of glaze all right and right where maybe like say we'll play around with the shadow part a little bit not too much because I can take a lot of that out if I feel it too carried away and I just push it away Okay, I don't want to put too much of it on there. Just, in, just a little, you know, little, little hidden spots here, little hints of of, of this blue. All right, so I just tap in a little blue, put it right into the glaze. I don't need too much of it, and just like I say, in little, little pockets and shadows and stuff. Just a little bit. All right. And I just hint little bits of pockets of color in there. I don't need to, like I say, put too much of that in there. Just just a wee bit. Okay. And it's more glaze than anything else. So I'm just brushing it in a little bit. Just, like I say, little hints here and there. You know, of color. That's all. All right. Like I said, I really don't need to do too much to this. All right, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, you know I hope it helps uh, some people out too um, as I'm doing this I'm looking at it I'm getting a little bit of blue a little bit of green I think I'm gonna continue that 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 stem right down here in the corner just like this and all I'm doing is continuing that little stem of color I don't have really too much of a just like that brighten him up a little bit just like just like that just going in the direction of um, the leaf pattern so I'll touch in a little bit of that yellow don't have to put it on every every one a little hint on that one there but there we go just a little little brightness somewhere in there and deepen him back up a little bit I'm just checking her out in certain spots there try to get him a little straighter just like that I'll say just little spots here and there but it's too late in the game all I'm doing is a slight little a little outline of some things here okay not too much you know outline the bowl a little bit other than that I don't really think I need to add too much more because most of it's already pretty much quite frankly finished um, I should add, um, add a, a water drop or two so let's add one of those so once again even though I was about to pack this thing up let's <laughs> Let's do a um, still water drop. Let's let's pull in a little bit. I said in. We'll bring it right around there. Okay. Let's do that. Let's take let's take a some titanium white. I guess we'll put a bright one right up in here like that. The shape of a football. Okay. I'm gonna just destroy that edge in there. I got black this time, and that's fine. And I'll outline that bottom, just like that. Just outline the bottom edge. Okay. We'll get rid of some of that. Some more of that right there. get away plopping a white one right in there like so actually let's we'll destroy a little bit of that bottom edge and bring it up in here a little bit and gray them out so we'll gray out this this guy a little bit just like that we'll gray him out just like that you should be able to see see it a little bit better and we'll outline that outer edge like that so you can you see them a little bit better something like that okay I'll put another one around right here yeah you guys see it on the lower lower end here right around in here just like that okay and we'll kind of put them in there like that get a little bit of black Put it right down here on the edge, right down here, right down here, just like that. Give a little something in there. Here we're gonna, we're gonna destroy that gray out a little bit there. We'll lighten that. There we go. Just lighten it up a little. Just like that. Then we'll accentuate a nice little dot right in there you guys can pretty much see that just like that okay so you can actually see him a little better we're gonna do the same thing with that fella up above I guess get some black I'm gonna gray that out loosen it up gray it out just like that so we're doing it in the reverse I used to do it on, on a plant of another color flower of another color you would just use the white to do this but right now I'm gonna just gray this guy out okay I 
That's the only way really you can see this fellow. Just like that, gray him out a little. Okay. And then now we get our little tap of white. Plop that. Let me find out. Oh, I still don't got enough white, right? Put that put a little dot of white in there. No, it's not enough. Well, yeah, it is. You guys can't see it. I, I'm looking at the monitor now. You guys can see that. See that guy. Oh, anyway, he's got two there. Let's go downward. Put one right there. Oh, okay. We're getting there. We're getting toward the end. I swear we are. You know when we're getting toward the end when I say I thank you for watching this. If you got any comments, write them down below. Comments or complaints, write them down below. Why not? I am asking. Maybe I shouldn't. Put one right here where you guys can see it. A little oversized, I know, but um, at least you can see it. You see, you see this guy. Now, you'll see what I'm talking about. See, now I'll just destroy that bottom inside the bubble there bring some of that right into the color see how it takes on a little bit of that color just like that that's kind of what you want that milky white just like that just like so okay there and because i uh I'll kill two birds with one, one stone, why not? I kind of like it right there, but we'll do one here. Yeah, you guys can see it. It's perfect, actually. We're doing one here. Have it travel like this. Yeah. Something like that with that guy. I'm just cleaning off the uh, round brush here. And once again, just destroy that edge. Make it a little, little milky, just like that. You still want that color? I'm wiping off the brush. Just like so. Make it a little thinner than that. Bring some of that around. some nice block of white we'll put the tip in right there nice dab of white there for that guy right there and we'll put one right here just a little little dot of something and we got trail him around like that and we'll bring him up up here like like that you really don't need to um scrub some of that away and bring, travel it around you don't need too much now let's pull back you'll see what it looks like here okay you start to see what a few of these guys look like up there one two three you got four of them there okay i'm not really up on even numbers like that but um i think we're doing all right with this fella like i say this one's a little different than the ones i normally do so um sometimes change is good yes Just getting a little bit of the titanium white here. And I didn't use much blue other than some slight glazes I teased in there a little bit. Right here on the corner down here, I'm going to just put my name. You should already see my uh, Facebook site appear and disappear already. Thank you guys for watching this. I do appreciate it. I appreciate you. I really do. And, um... Like I said, you got anything you would like to write, comment, you know, let me know. Any comments, any complaints? How am I going to learn if you don't let me know? Right? There we go. All right, guys. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, watching this. Let's pull back a little bit. And we'll raise this up here. Thank you very much for uh let's see um checking this out there yeah, i bet you can see it a little bit better now right get the sun glare out of the way 
Well, this is what she looks like. Okay. And of course, once it fully dries, I'll varnish it. But like I say, it's a little, little different than what you guys are accustomed to seeing me do. The camera's got tracking, that's why you see it moving. I was gonna put an orb in there, but it really doesn't need one. It doesn't need no orbs or anything floating around it. I think this speaks volumes all by itself. Um, so I'll let it be. You don't need it. It's got the little, it's got the drops on it. Some white rows, open rows with, with more traditional leaves and, and stuff. Got the traditional petals and all of that good stuff. All right. Got little hints of blue you see in it, but it's maybe just no uh, gray, black and uh, gray, white and black. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you once again for watching this. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I have my little photo reference right there. Okay. And then right down here. Okay. All I needed was a guide. That's all. Just just a little guide um, for it. And I just did it in blocks where you see the petals folded over. Okay. And as you, not every every petal is really um, bright and highlighted because once you know some petals kind of stick out and offer that shadow, you know, <coughs> all sorts of stuff like that. All right, enough of that. You guys have a good good uh, day or evening whenever you uh, watch this. And like I said, let me know what you think. Um, I enjoy doing it. And um, hope this helps you out. Love to see your rendition of it. And until next time.